We're now two bike model years into the pandemic bike shortage. Anyone into bikes has realized bike shops have been struggling to get bike inventory and that there are many parts from Shimano and SRAM that haven't been available anywhere for many months. You can imagine our surprise when Marin called us at the end of the summer and said, hey, we have a container of special model price point hardtails landing in a few weeks and we put a pile aside for you. The surprising thing is, it isn't too surprising. Marin has some seriously smart cookies working for them, and they have outsmarted many manufacturers since the beginning of the pandemic. Marin has suffered delays due to supplier issues too, but have found opportunities where other brands have just given up. The bikes we got were two different versions of something called the Eldridge Grade, the creatively named Base and One models. Like all Marin bike model names, it is named after a landmark within Marin County. In this case, the Eldridge Grade is the name of the trail that leads to the top of Mount Tam, home of the first mountain bike races ever. Eldridge Grade is a historic model name that hasn't appeared in the Marin lineup for many years, likely used because they already own the rights to the name. The bike doesn't appear on Marin's website because these bikes really were a special production that seemed to only end up at Marin's top dealers. We might even be looking at a future collectible. So after a long-winded history lesson, here are the details of the Marin Eldridge Grade 1, the fancier of the two Eldridge Grade models. The bike features a Series 1 aluminum frame and all sizes have 27.5 inch wheels. The frame is modern in geometry, but not overly progressive. With a 68 degree head angle, it is similar steering feel to a giant talon or specialized rock hopper, while being a touch slacker than something like a Trek Marlin. The frame has mounts for two water bottles, rack or fender mounts, internal gear cable routing with external rear brake routing. The seat post clamp is a quick release and the post itself is 27.2 millimeter diameter aluminum post with a two bolt clamp for adjusting the saddle angle or fore aft adjustment. The Suntour XCM30 fork has 30 millimeter diameter stanchions and 120 millimeters of suspension, which is more than the comparables found on the Trek giant or specialized. It is a coil sprung fork with preload adjustment and lockout to make the fork rigid. It is a basic fork but one of the first levels that doesn't suffer from bad play or knocking in the bushings. Drivetrain is a 2x9 Shimano drivetrain with a mix of Shadow Olivio rear derailleur, Acera shifters and Altus front derailleur. A nice touch is using an actual Shimano CS HG200 cassette with 11 to 36 gear range. The cassette quality adds to the shifting quality. There are two gears on the cranks. The small granny ring has 22 teeth, which will provide a great climbing gear with the bigger ring, a 36 tooth, should give you ample gear range for all the non-climbing terrain. These two by drive trains sacrifice having a gear for top end speed, but reduce the complexity of having three rings in the front. This makes for practical gearing for mixed surface riding and make for something way easier to operate. Braking is taken care of by Tektro M275 hydraulic disc brakes mated to 160mm rotors. These are the most common brakes on bikes in this sort of price range. The rear wheel uses a quick release to attach to the frame. The rims are double wall and seem pretty true both radially and laterally. The tires are a no-name option and are the one component I'm not impressed by as they don't run super round. With tires being a consumable item, this issue could be resolved as soon as the tires need replacement. The stem is 45 millimeters long, has a 31.8 millimeter bar clamp, and is matched to a 750 millimeter wide handlebar. So pretty appropriate these days on any mountain bike. Grips are slide-on style, so I'd consider replacing them at the first opportunity with a lock-on style. The saddle seems reasonable, and the stock pedals spin all right, but with the molded plastic pins, it would be a replacement item for anyone intending to ride the bike on mountain bike trails. If you're riding around town, the pedals are probably okay. So who is this for? This is the bike you buy because you want something for general purpose use that you can learn to mountain bike on. You're spending enough to get the extra braking power of hydraulic disc brakes and gears that work smoothly and operate reliably. Compared to bikes from Giant, Specialized, and Trek, this may be a little more confidence inspiring when things get bumpy due to the increased suspension of the fork and slightly more modern geometry. Be it on the pathway system, around town, around a campground, or trying single track mountain bike trails, this is a great option at the price. Our shop is Bike Bros, and you can find us in Cochrane, Alberta, Canada. We are dealers of Marin Bikes, Giant, Rocky Mountain, Pivot, and Esker. 
Depending on the time of year, there may be similarly priced options from Marin, Giant, and Rocky Mountain. Our shop has been on the list of Canada's best bike shops for nine years in a row now, so if you're in the area or driving through, please drop in, say hello, and see what the fuss is about. Thanks for watching, and happy trails.